Boys and girls, we have been learning about pollination and what else? Integrated pest management, right? Agricultural. Who are those people? Engineers. Very good. Boys and girls, we are welcoming you to Honeybrook Farm Apple Orchard. Now there's some problems at this apple orchard and we're hoping you can help us come up with a couple different ways to solve their problems. You are going to help me come up with the solutions. Right, let's use a play to help us figure out what's going on. Welcome to Honeybrook Farm Apple Orchard. Farmer Bob and Farmer Ann take care of the trees in the orchard all year. I hope we have lots of apples this year. Me too. Last year we did not harvest many apples because we sprayed those pesticides. The pesticides killed insects that grew in our trees, but killed the one that pollinated our apple flower blossoms too. story, some things were a problem, and then there was someone that had a solution, and they gave us their solution. All of these papers have to be put on the problem side or on the solution side. But you know what? You can't put them anywhere until you all agree. You need to talk together and you need to agree on where you think it belongs. All right, I want to hear your conversation. I want to hear kind words and good friends talking to each other. Is a weevil a problem or a solution? A problem. He's a problem, so we're going to put him over there. Is a fruit tree leaf roller a problem or a solution? A problem. So I'm going to put him over by problem. And then whenever you have a solution, put it on this side. But you're only doing one thing at a time. I think that's the problem. Yeah, I think problem too, do you? Do you think that is the problem? No! Okay. What do you think it is? A problem or a solution? Do you think that's the solution? Yeah. Well, he, um, I, I, I think it's a problem. Can I hear your thinking? Number three. Where's number one? Which one's number one? Number one? We don't have number one. Is there You just did some great thinking with your team. You just figured out what was our first problem, who helped us with our first problem, and what was the solution. You guys are amazing. But now I have to fill in our board. Raise your hand if you would like to try one. Wyatt. What do you have? Agricultural. Agricultural engineer one. Ooh. Is agricultural engineer number one part of the problem or part of the solution? Solution. Okay. Do you know where it would go? Put it where you think it would go. Look at that. Do you guys agree with that? Yes. 
Oh, good job. I agree too, Wyatt. Engineer number one was with problem number one. That makes sense. All right, we still have some problems and solutions left. Oh boy. Apple. Moth. Larva. Come here. Now, where do you think that's going to go? If I have a piece of tape, where do you think that's going to go? Apple moth larva. Wait a minute. Arnold, is the apple moth larva a problem or a solution? Problem. Look at your friends. Is it a problem? Yes. Yes. Okay, they're agreeing. But is it a problem in the spring, summer, or fall? Hmm. Did it happen first, second, or third? Mm -mm. Do you agree, one, or disagree, two? Hmm, we might have to change that. Do you have another idea where it might go? So Arnold, I see that you put it right here in the fall. So you think apple moth larva was the problem in the fall? Okay. Boys and girls, I think you've figured this out, but I still don't understand why there's no problems and solutions and people helping in the winter. Do you have a prediction? There's, there's no, there's no um, leaves for the caterpillar to roll in and eat, and there's no um, apple, so the weevil can't eat it. There isn't a whole lot happening at the apple orchard in the winter. You did an amazing job reading your play, understanding insect problems at an apple orchard. You're taking care of problems using natural solutions. Give yourselves a round of applause. Awesome job. My kids loved doing the play on day two. They, um, we had um, their name, whoever their character was, on a neck plate. My first graders love doing plays. They read through it only two times, and then they performed. They were, they were so excited. They knew so much from the story on day one that they were feeling like they were the story for day two, and they were telling the story. They kept hearing about Mariana in their head, this is also another pollination situation, and it just built ownership for them. It, it continued on, it came back to Mariana many times throughout the unit.